Hi, it's Peter from Motion, and with me today I have Richard from Loctite Australia, and we're talking retaining compounds. So why don't you talk us through the retaining compounds we have here today? Thanks, Peter. What we have in front of us here is Loctite 620 and 680, and they are two of our go-to retaining compounds. Uh, what are retaining compounds? Well, they're actually adhesive technology, very similar to thread lockers. Yep. Uh, but what they like to do is they like to take care of cylindrical assemblies. So bearings onto shafts, bearings into housings, um, gears, sprockets, and they're even capable of augmenting keyways. Okay. So giving us more reliability and more strength in keyways. That's pretty interesting. And why don't you run us through a demo? So before conducting the demonstration, I've taken the liberty to clean the substrates with Loctite 7063. That's our recommended cleaner degreaser. Mm -hmm. And I've also primed the metal surfaces with Loctite 7649. And the reason that I've done that is I want to speed up the process and get this to lock up as quick as possible so that you can see how quick it is and how strong it is. Okay. So what we've got here is uh, what we're representing as a metal shaft and our bearing. And we're going to bond that bearing onto the shaft. It's a clearance fit, so as you can see, it just slides easily. So we're gonna show how strong that is, okay? So we apply the product an even coating around because remember again, we want nice coverage between the two mating surfaces, between the inner race of the bearing and the shaft. So we put product here, engage the two components and give it a slight twist as we're engaging. Give it a turn and see if you can actually turn the bearing. and rem remember that this was a clearance fit. So that bearing was free to slide up and down that shaft. And now what I want you to do is see if you can press that bearing off the shaft. It's definitely not turning. Let's see if I can press it off. No. No, it's not going anywhere. And why don't you tell us the difference between using a Loctite and a interference and press fit? Yep. Uh, well, typically industry is going to be used to um, things like uh, press fits, interference fits, shrink fits. I think that's uh, generally what people have been exposed to. Um, what we're saying is on a clearance fit, we can actually have up to four times the strength. Yep. Um, but again, it can be augmented into those um, applications where you've got a shrink fit, interference fit. And again, we would maybe increase that overall strength up to four times. I think the other point to bear in mind is that no matter what mechanical uh, way you have of putting a bearing onto a shaft, it's never going to give you a seal between the, uh, the inner race and the shaft. So again, using a Loctite retaining compound, we ensure that we get full seal and that we're not going to get any fretting corrosion between those two mating surfaces. That's pretty interesting, Richard. And next time you're collecting some bearings from one of our branches, why don't you ask about our Loctite retaining compound range? And for more information, visit the website. Thanks for joining us today, Richard. No problem, thank you.